What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moodle WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to use the toggle and accordion elements into your WordPress website using the WP Bakery WordPress plugin. So in today's video I'm gonna be explaining what is the toggle and accordion, the difference between those elements and let me share you one example on our PX Premium WordPress team on Visual Moodle. Here is one very useful page, kind of page that you can use the toggle and accordion elements. Your FA key, your key and A, your help center page. So let's imagine that you have some products and your potential clients may have some questions related to the products or services that you are selling. So to create those pages, you think about those questions and write down answers and organize them into toggles or accordion elements. It's also known as an AFA key element into WP Bakery. Here is one example on our PX WordPress team, okay? So if you click into this title, this question title, if you click onto the question, a new section gonna expand and this gonna show you the answer for this question. So into this video, I'm gonna share with you how to apply this into WP Bakery. The very first thing to do is subscribe to our Visual Moto YouTube channel because we bring very useful videos about WordPress, marketing, SEO, sales, and many things. Every week we have new contents uploaded to our channel. So subscribe so you can be updated and learn with us and learn from us. I'm gonna be very happy in help. In the case that you want to learn how to do this same element using Gutenberg Editor or Elementor, just let me know into the question, into the comment section, so I can do a video to help you. I'm gonna be very happy in help. So to restart our guide, make sure that you have installed and activated your WP Bakery plugin. Go to WordPress dashboard, page, at new, and type a title. Once we are using the WP Bakery, your editor gonna open the Gutenberg, but click on WP Bakery Page Builder, okay? This gonna load you the WP Bakery Page Builder Editor first page. You can choose two options. You have the back end and the front end. Into this video, I'm gonna do the accordion element on the back end and the toggle into the front end so we can see the difference, okay? So click into the back end editor. There's people that like this editing style. There are people that like more the front end editor so we can see the results immediately. No need to worry. Click into this plus button and search for accordion. We have a searching field. In the case that you find many elements, you can have a searching field into the top right corner, okay? Just write down what you are looking for and here is what happens we have a section present on our page imagine this blocks as the sections of your page if you click into this pencil icon you're gonna be able to open the accordion settings where you can edit the size of the text the colors the styles the shape i'm gonna change the style for a modern one change the shape i'm gonna change the color I'm gonna ask to not fill the content area so the color present on the accordion title will not be the color present into the answer section. We can choose a gap, we can choose the alignment, the autoplay, we can alloy all collapsed, we can alloy all closed, we can change the icon, we have some icons to choose from, the icon that appears next to the title to open the section. We can choose an active section. Let's imagine that we have four questions into this and one gonna be opened with answer showing by default. And this is the active action. In the case that I want to create a new section, imagine the section as your place where you type your question, okay? And if you click into the plus button inside of each section, you can apply other elements inside 
of it. What kind of elements? Any elements that you like. You can apply text, blocks, you can apply images, you can apply contact forms, you can apply alerts, you can apply graphics, any kind of element that you can choose into the plugin, you can apply into the sections. So this is how the ROS work. Okay. Click into another section, another plus button gonna appear, apply another kind of element in the case that you want. I'm gonna apply a text block. And into this one, I'm gonna apply a, a message so I can show you other examples of elements. And into the final one, I'm gonna apply a single image. I will not set up the image, so the image may be a little small. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below in a card over here for a video tutorial where I do explain how to properly use the single image. But for example, this is gonna work. So here is our section. The first section is active, and if I click into another one, the other gonna be closed. And here, what we have. Imagine the section one as a as a question and the text that appear gonna the text that expands or appear or show up when you click into the section have your answer let me edit a little more i'm gonna edit the raw okay i'm gonna change the columns so i can have some offset into the left and right sides and apply a padding top and a padding bottom. So we can have a, a page looking better with more spacings around it. We have videos on our YouTube channel explaining how to do this as well, so no need to worry. Now let me edit a little more the accordion section. Let me change the color for a gray one. And my active section gonna be the second one the section 2. I'm gonna hit the save change button. And here's the result we have. Just a note, to move elements between columns, you just need to click into this, the element name, drag and drop it wherever you want, okay? So this is basically all we need to do in order to apply accordion. So let me show you how to apply a toggle section. I'm gonna save this page, okay? And after this, I'm gonna be clicking into the front end editor, okay? But before anything, let me apply it in two columns because I want the content side by side. So we can see the difference between the elements easier. Now, the front end is now loaded, here is how it works, okay? So here, here, here is how it looks like. It's almost like into the back end, however, now you can see the results immediately. No need to update the page, preview page, okay? So it works basically like Elementor. In the case that you like Elementor, it may be more familiar with this kind of editor. And in fact, WP Bakery was the first plugin that had front-end editor into the WordPress, as far as I can remember, at least. Click into the plus button, and for Tuggle into WP Bakery, the element name is FA Key, okay? Click on FA Key, and you have our Tuggle title and our toggle content. And here is the biggest and more notable difference between those elements. The toggle, it's a single standalone element, but accordion, it's different, it's all together. There's no sections for toggle. Every element is unique. So the settings that I'm gonna do in right here, gonna be applied only for this toggle element. The other question that you're gonna that we're gonna be doing gonna need to have all this set again or you can clone the element. No need to worry. I'm gonna show this later. But we have CSS, extra class for 
for other CSS code, we have the design elements. The way to design is almost the same. And here's the result we got. Here is our toggle title. Imagine the toggle title as your section, the place where you type your question, and the content, the place where you type your answer. Okay, let me clone those toggles so we can have four, like the accordion. And let me edit a little bit. So let me show visually another example. In two toggle, we, have, we can have all open because they are different elements. And in two accordion, to open one, in order to open one, you need to close another. In other hand, for toggle, you need to apply only text or short codes or things that the WordPress default editor lets us do. But on accordion, we can apply the elements of the WP Bakery itself. So you have a little more wide range of elements that can be added easier. You can click into use custom fonts as soon as you do that you're gonna be loading a new tab into your fax sections. For example, to change the position, the text size, the color, the font family. Here is the section that I was talking about. You can apply image right here, you can apply other short codes, whoever you have not options to apply all of the page builder elements. So this is a difference. Let me show you, as you can see, I'm editing this toggle, but without editing the other three. And this is the biggest difference of those elements, but you can edit both easier and fast. You can change the default state of the toggle for open or closed. And here is the result we have. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes with full compatibility to any kind of page builder that you like. If you want to rise a site and create your first site for free, we have a free WordPress theme, it's called Enzu, and it's present on WordPress.org. You can download for free, and in my opinion, it's the best free theme that you can download, okay? We have a plugin to expand the amount of add-ons, widgets, and elements of your WP Bakery or Elementor, call it Borderless, that you can download for free into WordPress.org. And I'm gonna leave uh, some links, some useful links into the first comment of this video. There are links where you can download, you can download free assets like icons, image, Photoshop templates, themes, and plugins for free from the from Inovi designers on Creative Market for free every single week. The designs change. Okay, you can download. You can purchase a domain for 99 cents, and you can purchase a host in a very competitive and cheap price. Okay. So I recommend that you review those links because some may be useful for you, okay? And you may be helping the channel as well. And I see you later. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We are all there on Visual Moro. And I see you later. All the best.